Hello beautiful people! Welcome back to California. I hope you guys enjoyed the Canada vlogs, but I am here today with my sister in Irvine. I think we're gonna go to Mendocino Farms, which is this like sandwich place. Wait JK guys, there's too many people at Mendo, so we might check out somewhere else instead. Papa! <laughs> Hey guys, so we are currently at this new cafe called Van Dyke and it's in just like this office building in Irvine. It's so cool. You can basically sit wherever you want all around this floor. But I asked for like this cute latte art and look at what they made me. It's so cute. It's like a little bear. It's literally so adorable. And this is a hojicha latte and then I got it with oat milk, but I'm going to give it a taste test. It was so good. Oh no, now it's kind of broken. <laughs> I'm gonna drink his eyebrows. It's okay. Oh, wow. Good, right? The flavor is very interesting. It's there. Mm. It's time to edit. <laughs> it looks like a bubble head. Hello friends, so I am back home now and I actually just got done filming a Q&A for the channel. Originally, I was going to put it in this vlog, but I think it's going to go way too long. So I'm predicting that it's going to be in a separate video. But yeah, I'm about to take off all my makeup now and I kind of want to do a little face mask. Okay, I just cleansed my eyeliner makeup, which I do separately because I use like a oil-based stronger remover. Also, you guys, I love these things. They're from Amazon, but I use them so the water doesn't get all over my arms when I'm washing my face. Recently been using oil-based cleansers because I've heard that these are a lot better for your skin than makeup remover wipes. And it's also less waste. So yeah, I just take a little dab and rub it on my entire face. This also, I believe, helps with like blackheads and whiteheads, which I've been having a lot more of around my nose recently. And I use this fresh soy face cleanser. It makes me feel like all my makeup is completely off. And I just wash my face one more time. <laughs> Okay, all clean. I look kind of funny, but I put on this little cute hairband thing because I'm gonna do a face mask. I usually don't do face masks on like a daily basis, but yeah, I just felt like doing a self-care night tonight. I'm gonna be trying out this one from Tohua Gain, which is a Korean skincare brand, and it's a white rice wash-off mask. Pigment is very thick. Hey Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. While I'm waiting, I think I'm going to try to call my grandma in Korea and see what she's up to. So I just got off the phone with my grandma from Korea. As you guys can see in my daily diaries vlogs, I try to spend a lot more time with my family intentionally. I am able to spend a lot more time with my grandma on my dad's side, but obviously I can't really spend time with my grandma in Korea as often. So I try to keep in touch with her from time to time through phone calls. And a super cool service that I've been using recently to get on calls with her is Ultra Mobile, which is the brand that I'm partnering with for today's video. Ultra Mobile actually allows you to call and text for free to over 80 international countries for as low as $10 a month. When I first called my grandma using the service, it was super, super smooth. Data and the speed were all very, very good. Ultra Mobile also provides high quality service within the US, such as free Wi-Fi calling and text, reliable speed, and free 5G on the nation's largest 5G network, which is T-Mobile. I've been using the service not only for international calls, but also to watch YouTube on my phone, go on social media, listen to music, 
etc. and the data speed has never failed. If you're also someone living in the US with international friends or family, or if you just want a reliable service with an affordable cost, you can use my unique link which will also be in the description box to get started today. for me so I'm gonna mix it with this one. go-to eyeliner it's the Japanese brand but I'm also running out of this so I've been using the NYX epic wear and this one is also pretty good I also use the rare beauty one when I'm out of the other ones as well the difference that eyeliner makes is actually crazy I've also been putting this essence it's like a lash and eyebrow essence my favorite part about doing makeup recently is my lips and blush. I like to line my lip with this Peripera lip liner. Even just the lip liner, it gives color to your lips and I love it so much. And just blend it in. That's the lip liner. I love this color. It's rosy nude. And then I've been liking to go in with a darker color. This is smoky red. And just put it onto my lips as well as my cheekbones. And then just blend that all in. Also, I love using my fingers for makeup. First of all, I'm too lazy to have a bunch that I need to clean. And second of all, I just feel like I have a lot more control when I use my fingers. I also really like these matte lipsticks from Romance. I finish it off with this Dior Maximizer. And I just love how natural this color is. A little glossy moment. And that is all for my lips. I just used this all-in-one palette from Whaley's collection with the Physician's Formula. I don't really change out my makeup routine but if you guys have like bronzer or highlighter recommendations i'd love to try out new ones as well so yeah this is the finished makeup look it is very simple sometimes i also put on lashes but i wasn't really feeling it today for my outfit i'm just wearing this cute little dress i actually bought this at like a missions fundraiser that my church was doing for like ten dollars and then this necklace is from brandy melville that i got a while back but yeah this is the ootd I'm taking my little Yes Style bag and I thought I'd show you guys what I put in my everyday bags. So of course I'm gonna put my phone, a cute little pop socket on it, my keys with this cute little Pepperdine monkey keychain, my Mew Mew wallet, a little pouch that I carry that has all my essentials like my Laneige lip balm, Dior lippy, lotion, etc. Recently borrowed this book from my friend. I really want to start it, so we'll see if we start this book today. And of course, I'm going to put you guys the camera inside as well as my tripod. Let's go ahead to Chick-fil-A to pick up a salad. I've actually been craving this Chick-fil-A salad that I love so much. She gave me house slippers, yeah. guys. <laughs> Got my favorite Chick-fil-A Cobb salad. Here. Hey, I'm with Claire. She's moving to DC soon, so we're just gonna catch up today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Different types. <laughs> we're doing a little self care moment. Claire just brought out a bunch of her like artsy things. I think we might either do painting or do our nails. I wanted to show you guys her room because it's so cute. She painted all of this. That's so pretty. Yeah. I'm gonna attempt on this little painting. I tried to pick the most simple one, but I feel like it's gonna be the hardest. Here's my little canvas and we're gonna go. I was gonna putting the white on that bowl mm -hmm. and then the other colors on this. Oh, okay. so just mixing it. 
Are in the making. Yeah, so pretty. I've been obsessed with this blue color. I don't even know. Oh, oh! Dude. I don't think it looks like a cloud. Wait, it looks pretty good. No, the texture. It's really soft. So this is my painting. It did not turn out how I expected, but it's still really cute. Bye, love you, Claire. Wow. Pets is here. He's cooking some video tacos for us. I just got back home. I'm sweaty because it's so hot. Pats brought me flowers. It was National Girlfriend Day yesterday. He thought it was today. And then he just made us some tacos. I'm so excited to try. I feel like you have to eat tacos with your hands, so I'm just going for it. Also, I put my painting right there. Thank you. I'm gonna just eat it with chopsticks, guys. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I feel weird eating taco with chopsticks. It's okay. It's, it's a marriage of cultures. <laughs> mm. I've been trying to be healthier, but I just needed a carbonated drink. Today is Thursday. All I did today was finish up my video at this cafe and it was super productive. Now I'm meeting up with Harleen and we're gonna go get some Indian food because I was kind of just craving Indian food for some reason. My outfit is super simple today. I'm literally just wearing a super baggy t-shirt. This is from Korea. Purple pants that kind of match from Paxan. And then I'm just wearing my Uniqlo fanny. Super comfy, but yeah, I'll see you guys at dinner. Hello guys, so I'm with Harleen now and we're currently in Artesia, the little India area where there's just a bunch of like Indian food and we're just walking around because it's kind of nice right now but we're gonna get some dinner and I'm super excited to eat because I'm pretty hungry. This is where I came to get my Diwali stuff. Oh! This is the sequel. Wow, they look this so So this is pani puri. Okay. This is basically like puff balls with like potatoes, chutney. And... I've tried these before. Yeah. They're oh, so good. okay, perfect. Beautiful dates. Oh, I love it. There are chickpeas inside. This is so cool. Cheers. She said you need it all at once, so I'm gonna try. Cheers. Whoa. I've never had anything like that before. In India, they have like six, seven types of this water. It's so like fresh and flavorful. Yeah. It's like so good. street food is in mm. India. You gotta mix it all together. Yeah. Cause that's why it's called a samosa chaat. A chaat is like a mixture of oh. sorts of foods. Wow, I'm so glad we did this today. That's so good. It tastes almost like curry, but sweeter. There's something so special about sharing different cuisines. I'm so happy right now. So this is vada pao, toasted bread, potato fried mixture. Hell yeah. Looks so good. Oh, there's actually like a potato in here. Pao means a bread, vada mm. is a the potato in here. Chole samosa. Chole samosa. Golgappa. Golgappa. Vada pao. Vada pao. <laughs> Teaching me all these terms. Cheers. Cheers. So good.